Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be covering yet another executor that is currently working with the Bifron update. I have had a lot of people complaining to me that the executors are not working. So I will be showing you once again in depth tutorial on how to set these up and how to still use executors after the Hyperion update. So again, I do request everyone to watch the video to the very end so you don't have any questions. If you are struggling with anything, make sure you've watched the full video before you leave a comment saying that's not working, okay? So make sure you watch the video to the end and if you still have any questions after that, then you can leave a comment down below and let me know what you're struggling with and I will try my best to help you out. If you want faster support, you can also join my Discord server which will be linked in the description. And with that being said, let's get into the video. So as some of you guys might know, the anti-cheat developed by Bifron called Hyperion has recently come to the Roblox version on the Microsoft Store. And because of that, a lot of the executors have been patched. So in this video, I'll be showing you a method which still works and it allows you to use the executors on the Microsoft Store version of Roblox. So to do that, the very first thing that you need to do, and this is really important, without this, you will not be able to use the executor. So the very first thing that you need to do is, of course, to downgrade your Roblox. And the reason you do this is so you can install the previous version of Roblox, which did not have the anti-cheat on there. So the downgrade tool will be in the description. You can simply download it. And once you open it, it should look something like this with two options over here, one saying reinstall and the other one saying launch. Now, if you don't see these options, then you can close out of this first and go into app and features or apps and features and then search for Roblox in here. From here, go ahead and click on uninstall. And if you see multiple copies, just uninstall both of these. And once you've done that, you should be able to open this up and you should get the option to install or reinstall over here. So just go ahead and click that and go ahead and just reinstall Roblox. And once that has happened, you can go ahead and close out of that as of right now. Once you've done that, we still have one more step to go before we can download the executor. So the next thing you need to do is come over to your virus and threat protection. It's the same thing on Windows 10 and 11. And then from there, go ahead and go into manage settings and go ahead and turn off the real time protection. You will be able to turn this back on in a little while, but for now, this needs to be turned off. Otherwise, the executors will not work. So once you've turned that off at this point, you are now ready to download the executor. So let's go ahead and go into the first link in the description, or it might be the second link, which will take you to my website. From there, there will be a button to download the executor. And you can see there is also the download for the downgrade. And from there, we go ahead and click on the download button, which will take you to this page. Now, for some people, if it doesn't take you to that page instantly, if you click this and it opens up any new tab, which does not look like this, then go ahead and close out of that new tab and click this link once again. If you still don't get it, then you need to close it again and click for the third time and it should open up just like this. From there, go ahead and complete these steps and it will take you to the final download destination. From there, go ahead and click on download now and choose wherever you wish to download it. For me, I'm just going to choose my desktop. From there, go ahead and click on save. From there, go ahead and open up the download manager by double clicking it and clicking yes. And that will load up the download manager for you. From there, go ahead and click on next and it will give you a few offers. It is completely up to you if you want to click accept on any of these. Uh, some of them do tend to be useful programs. And then if you don't want to, then you can just simply click decline. So once you've done that, you will get the final download link. Go ahead and copy that final download link and paste it back into your browser. And now you can choose wherever you wish to download Fluxus. So I'm going to choose my desktop. Now, for some people, it might block the download. Your browser might end up blocking the download for Fluxus. If that does happen, then hold down control on your keyboard and press J, which will open up your downloads folder. And from there, there will be a button to approve the download manually. It might say the file is dangerous or something like that. It is completely up to you if you want to believe that, but I'm telling you that it's completely safe. Okay. So I'm, I'm tired of hearing people saying it's not safe. It's telling me there's errors, you know, there's viruses. If you don't want to believe it, don't download it. As simple as that. So there we go. So once you've done that, you can now go back to your desktop and right click the folder and click on extract all and click extract. And that will create a new folder for you called Fluxus. Go ahead and close out that folder for now. And you can now delete the zipped file along with the download manager. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me also close out of that. There we go. And now we've got a new folder called Fluxus. At this point, don't go into Fluxus as of right now. Go back into your virus and threat protection go back into manage settings, scroll down until you see exclusions. Go ahead and click on this option and click yes. Click on add an exclusion, choose folder, make sure you choose folder and single click your new created Fluxus folder. Make sure you don't double click it. If you've accidentally done that, just click back 
and make sure you just highlight it as you can see this little border around it and click select folder and that should add it into your exclusions as you can see mine is here i've done it multiple times um but it should be added into this list right here so once you see it in that list go back and now you can turn on this option right here if you wish to do that that is not a problem so once you've done all of that now at this point you are ready to use the executor so to use executor let's go ahead and open up the fluxus exe if you get this option click on more info and click run anyway and click yes so here we go and once you do that it will open up the download manager so let's go ahead and click on next and click the top option and let it download all of the files and it will automatically launch once all of the files have been downloaded you don't have to do anything and once it does complete it will ask you for a key now i will show you how to get the key right now so make sure you follow the steps very carefully i don't want any comments saying we don't know how to get the key okay that happens way too often i'm tired of hearing it just watch the video watch the video it's as simple as that okay um so from here go ahead and click on get key and it will open up a new link for you the link might be a little slow i've experienced some issues with it myself it could take about 30 seconds to load so just give it some time and it will load up for you all right so once it does load it will look something like this it took me about a minute to almost two minutes for the page to load so just be patient with this first page it can take a while to load and once it does load you can just simply go ahead and do this capture right here so let's go ahead and do that and once you complete that it will take you to link wordize all right, once you load into link word tires go ahead and click on this option right here which says free access with ads and from there go ahead and click on i am interested and then go ahead and click on the top option right here you don't have to complete any of these options you can simply go back and wait for this bottom link to change right now it says continue with link word tires premium and if you give it a couple of seconds it does change to i have already completed this step as you can see and when you click that it will take you to the following checkpoint so there will be around three checkpoints to do um, I've already done two. Um, I had to skip on the first one because I made a little editing error. Um, but here we go. So let's go ahead and click on free access with ads once again. And click on I am interested and do the same thing again. So open up the page and then go back. Make sure you don't end up going back to like an old, old checkpoint. Make sure you go to the one that you've just started. And then let's wait for this to complete. And you can see I have already completed this step. So there we go. And then click that and that will give you your key. From there, go ahead and click on copy key. And you can now go back to your executor, paste your key in here and click enter key. And that will open up the executor for you. And now you're ready to go. One thing worth mentioning is that you will have to do this step every 24 hours. So the key lasts for 24 hours. So you have to come back here and do this step again. All right. So at this point, go ahead and close out of Fluxus. Make sure you don't have Fluxus open and you can load into the Microsoft store. And let's go ahead and go into Roblox. So if you don't have it installed, you can install it at this point. And again, make sure you have downgraded um, before you try injecting into the Microsoft Store Roblox. So once you have done that, you can open up Fluxus once again. So to reopen it, you don't want to open this download manager again. You can just go into the newly created folder. So I'll show you once again. Let me go back to my desktop. So go ahead and open this folder. Go in here. And previously, you launched this application right here. You don't need to do that again. Go into the new folder and open up Fluxus from in here. So once you do open it, it will take a couple of seconds and it will load up. Here we go. So it won't ask you for a key again. That will happen after the 24 hours have expired. So now you can go back into your Roblox and you can click inject and it won't do anything as of right now. You have to load into a game and that's when it will show you that it has successfully injected. And as you can see in the bottom right corner, it does say that Fluxus UWP has injected. All right, so I've gone ahead and grabbed a script as well. And let's go ahead and load into this game and see if it is working. So let's go ahead and click on run. And as you can see that the script is instantly working and that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and minimize the executor. And again, you are able to use the executor on any Roblox game, not just the one that I'm currently playing, because that is a question that some people ask. So yeah, you can use it on every single Roblox game as long as you've got a script for it. So as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. So there shouldn't be any complaints of anyone saying that it is not working unless you're genuinely experiencing an issue. Once again, if anyone is struggling with any of these downloads or with any anything at all, you can simply let me know down below in the comments or you can join my Discord server, which will be in the description for a faster response. Let's go ahead and execute the script once again. And as you can see, it works without any issues. Um, and that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.